Hello and welcome back. In this video we're looking at the newly revised Google Sites. I believe it's launched in different parts of the world at different times, so if you haven't yet got it, check back soon and it will hopefully soon appear. It landed recently in my account, so here's my walk through. So the first change is how to access it. So historically we would have gone up to the nine boxes, we would have clicked there and then we would have chosen Sites. But now it's part of Google Drive, we go to New and More and we'll see Google Sites appears there. So we click on that. Let's give it a minute to catch up. And when it loads, we'll see a, a completely different interface. So now we have, we can add a title at the top. We can enter the title of our site. And then we can start by changing the image. So there's a range of images we could use. We could use one of their images, or we can also upload our own, or we can access it by a URL, uh, by a search, by your own albums from Google Drive. So I'm gonna upload an image. And we can see there it is there. So we've got in our image, we can also change the position of our text uh, and the alignment. We can also add a link to that if we chose to. Uh, having done that, we've got a number of options we've got down here. To insert elements, we've got the ability to add a text box. And then we can We can add a text box. Having done that, we can also look at adding images. So it's very much drag and drop is the way it works. So we'll click upload. And just to the left of the image where we've embedded all the text, we can change the background color. So we could go okay. And there's various templates there that they give you. So you can flick it around. It will try and pick up the color that's closest to that of the image. So I'm gonna leave it white for the moment. We've also got the ability to upload various elements to it, but mainly it's focused on presenting information from the Google suite of apps. So we can embed a calendar. And you can use drag and drop to remove it around. So you can see we've put in our, our calendar. And generally the interface is pretty good. It's, uh, when it comes to adding content, and arranging content with its drag and drop. So we could also insert a YouTube video. Um, so you've got a variety of things you could do. You could pick a video um, and add that or Go to uploaded and you could choose one of your own videos. So I'm going to insert that in there. And it automatically puts it on the bottom line. You can see we've got the ability. So you click on it, opens in the new tab. If we click on the settings, we've got um, the option to hide tools, uh, so particular color toolbar, and allow full screen on or off. So there's various things you can do when adding video. It's also possible to insert presentations, forms, charts, sheets, slides, and documents, just like you would have done before. So just do one more insert for you.
and again you can use drag and drop to position it so when it comes to organizing stuff it's easier to use there doesn't seem quite as much customized option in the way that you control the headings um, but it could be that I need to dig into it in more detail um, so to recap on the insert function we've got text boxes images embed URLs and uploads we've then got the ability to add stuff from Google Drive or embed stuff including YouTube calendars and maps and the ability to add and embed documents forms and sheets if you want to add additional pages very easy and you could add another page and it creates it for you and obviously you can go about adding content go back to the home and you can see the navigation sits at the top and then the final thing is themes and there are a number of predetermined themes that you can you can look at so we just choose that one and it will customize the look and feel of the website so as a way of creating a website uh, which is quicker and easier to use it's certainly that I could see it being used by students uh, maybe for project-based learning or by a tutor to organize resources for learning um, having finished that you click publish uh, you can enter in your site location um, and you can also add editors just like you would with Google Drive and you can preview what the finished site will look like as well so there we have it a quick guide to using Google Sites check back soon to see more specific information on how it can be used hope you found that useful thanks for watching